Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Welcome to a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. That's right, we're doing a little Yu-Gi-Oh! Re uh, real quick. Um, new ban list just came out. I'm pretty excited. I already looked over everything. It's a pretty good list in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and look at it and uh, check out what we got going on. I'll tell you what we're going to be doing for uh, Fire Fist because we are going to have to make a couple of changes. Uh, but they shouldn't be anything like super like ludicrously uh, vital. It's just a couple of like support cards that got hit. So let's go ahead and look. So first off, we've got uh, the basically these are the hits or some of the hits from the um, what you call it, the uh, adjusted ban list uh, that came out a couple of what was it, like a month and a half ago or something. Um, damage juggler, plush fire, um, both banned. Uh, good, good riddance in my opinion. Uh, damage. I actually really like damage juggler, but it did a lot uh, for a single card. It gave you all sorts of utility. Uh, pretty much pre uh, prevented a lot of effects from going off. It was basically it did too much, so it had to go. Uh, plush fire gave you insane advantage if you knew how to uh, abuse it in like a good pendulum deck, so had to go. So let's keep going. Um, next up, we've got uh, Tel uh, Telemaius, another one of the adjusted bandless hits. Um, again, this card busted a lot of decks that wouldn't have been busted otherwise, or at least, um, yeah, it set a lot of them over the edge, just uh, giving them the ability to go into some of those power rank fives. Um, yeah, it was a little bit too much, so had to get hit. That's fine. Uh, I'm not at all broken up about any of these cards going so let's go ahead and uh, go to the next one this one was actually it was a little bit surprising but i'm actually very happy to see it go uh chicken uh, by the way i'm uh not a very lenient uh ban list person i know a lot of the uh youtubers who talk about Yu-Gi-Oh are like really lenient they don't want to see a lot of cards banned i'm just like ban 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 i seriously i ban everything i don't care um i actually i would rather see like a, a very tightly controlled uh, meta than like some. Basically, I, I prefer a lot of stuff getting hit. Uh, that said, if we look, um, where is he? Oh gosh, the important one. Uh, Elemental Leader Stratus is still banned. Sorry, Logan. Um, you're not gonna be able to use your dude. Anyway, um, so yeah, Chicken Game. It was used in pretty much every Degenerate FTK. So get out of here. Um, that's, you know, whatever. It was just a weird card that probably shouldn't have existed. So, uh, good to see that go. And I think, oh yeah, uh, Wavering Eyes got hit. Um, now this card was, it was a really busted Pendulum card. Uh, I, don't, I don't really run Pendulums that that much. I have, uh, what you call it, Magispector Magician, um, what is it, Magispector Magician something else. There's something else in there, I swear. Uh, Dracos, that's it. Um... I was running triple wavering eyes because that's what you do, but uh, yeah, this is it was probably a little bit too much. I I kind of thought it would go to one, but you know what? If they're banning it, that's fine too. Like I, I'm not broken up about this at all. Next card. Um, oh gosh, what do we have? Okay, okay, here's some. A luster pendulum, monkey boards, Skullcrabat Joker, all limited because we already knew that. Um, these were all from the adjusted list and. Um, if, if Skull Kermat Joker's at 1, why can't Stratus be at 1? Oh, well, whatever. I'm not going to cry about it. This card is really busted. Oh, well, it was busted at 3. Uh, at 1, it's okay. Um, and, of course, like, you know, it it's not as good as Stratos, but it searches better stuff than Stratos, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, sorry, I compare everything to Stratos. Um, Performo Pal Monkey Board. Uh, basically, the Strat... No, I'm kidding. Um, this card was really good. Uh you know, it's still good at one, honestly. Like, it's one of those cards that you can search, and it searches other stuff. Um, it's a really good middle middle of the road card that you need to have to like go into other stuff. So at one, it's not like you know gonna. Well, I mean, it's still kind of frustrating when your opponent just has it, but I don't know. I'm not gonna complain about it. It's okay. Uh, Wisdom My Magician got hit. Um, this was a OCG mirror. Like you know, it, it happened there too. Um, not. Like, Magicians aren't anywhere near as popular as the uh, the Performa Pals, but this card is still super good. So, you know, like, at one, it's okay. Like, you can still search it pretty easy. You can, and it's still, you know, you can use it more than once a turn. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, next up, we've got Elder Entity Norden at one. Uh, Thousand Irish Restrict came back to one. That's pretty cool. Uh, Ignister got dropped to one. Um, okay, yeah, that's all the, uh, that's all the monsters real quick. Or, so, Norton, 
Uh, I would have said, you know, just ban this, um, honestly. <laughs> like, I know I was running at it too, but I would have banned it, to be honest. Uh, it's so good. Like, um, I don't like the idea of hitting Instant Fusion. I think that's a really good utility card for a lot of decks that aren't Rank 4-centric. Rank four, uh, rank four centric. Uh, Norden was the card that broke it. Um, but I liked uh, I liked the idea of using Instant Fusion and stuff like Cyber Dragons and stuff. So the fact that like Norden came along and just kind of ruined the card for everybody, I, I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, so I would have just banned this. Uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, that's really interesting. Uh, by the way, like the reason I would have just banned it is because people are still going to be able to run more than one Instant Fusion. Um, because you don't draw them all at the same time. I would, but uh, you, do. you might not. So um, Thousand Eyes Restrict, it's a pretty nifty card. Um, I don't know if it's going to do anything, but you know what? Uh, give it a shot. Whatever. Uh, Ignister Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer. This guy, if you could summon one, you could summon like three. So you had to kind of limit this guy. Like it, you couldn't, you know, drop it to two because if you have it at two, you're just going to be able to summon them both at the same time anyway. Um, so yeah, dropping this to one made sense. Um, a lot of people, some people were actually saying like, uh, this won't help anything unless it gets banned. Um, just because like you're having the one still allows you to do like these crazy combos that like load up your field the, the only thing with that is ignister's the only one that like really does anything like he's the offensive threat of the three of them um the three of them I, I, by that i mean like magister and dynaster um they're all you know like if you can go into one of them you can pretty much get all of them on the field at the same time um and you can usually get like two or three ignisters out of the deal uh so like I don't know. I'm not going to say... I, I think that one is fine. Like, you know, it's a good card. It's probably better than good. But I don't think it's necessarily, like, this ludicrously overpowered thing that, like, you know, needed to get banned. But I think it should have... I, I think one's the correct number for it. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, we got Draco Face Off at one. Uh, this was one that I could either have seen getting banned or limited. Um, I'm okay with it at one. Like, it's... It's still, like, a really good top deck card or, you know, like, whatever, especially in your opening hand, like, ugh. But with one Ignister, you can s you still have plays, but it do and it doesn't, like, completely, like, you know, shut off the Draco engine, but it does slow it down a bit. Uh, I don't necessarily know if it's going to be, like, if you're going to want to run all the Dracos now. I don't think so. Um, so, you know, whatever. Like, you could still run this. Uh, next up, we've got uh reasoning reasoning aha take that freaking what you call them um <laughs> freaking oh what are they called uh the little fire guys fire fiendy things whatever they got destroyed by this um i'm very okay with reasoning at one i think monster gates at one isn't it yeah it, it totally is look it's right here see i told you guys i know stuff um yeah, I'm entirely okay with this getting uh, knocked down to one. Basically, it's um, it just lets you load up your entire graveyard. Uh, uh, Raiden from Raiden and Dark Games is going to hate this because he runs like three of it in his uh, Reaper spell books. But you know what? I think it was. I don't know. It loads up your grave with spells uh, or you know monsters in that freaking deck that I can't remember the name of. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't like it. It was never something that I like looked at as being like. Oh yeah, this is totally fair. Because you can just summon something off the top of your deck for basically for free. Uh, and then Upstart. Now this was interesting. Like I, I don't know why they didn't just ban it if they were going to put it at 1. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm still going to run the 1. Um, yeah. Uh, this was one of the cards that got hit for me. Um, so that's a shame. This and Norden. Um, I don't, yeah, I'm not really sure why. But, you know what, if they're going to go after those FTK decks, I probably would have just gone after Royal Magical Library. But whatever, upstart's a start. It's an upstart. <laughs> okay, next. Um, so, uh, semi-limits. We got Debris Dragon, because nobody uses it. Uh, Allure of Darkness. This is actually something that people could use. Uh, I know it still, gets, it still does see use in, like, dark decks, but it isn't, like, a consistent draw card. Uh, at two, that's okay. I'm not going to complain about it. It's got, like, a drawback. It... I don't know, it's, it's not, like, the worst thing ever. And then Itelli. Um, I would have put this at one. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I guess they didn't want to, like, completely neuter Cosmos. Fair enough. Uh, and then what else we got? Uh, Dark Magician of Chaos goes from being forbidden to no longer on the list because it's a rat, it just, like, neutered it. Uh, Trag, 
I actually really like Trag, but it hasn't seen any sort of play in like years. Uh, Advanced Ritual Art, because nobody plays it. Actually, I could. I think there's a deck that could potentially. What could use this? Probably like. Could Red Eyes use? I don't know. I don't know what. It, I don't know what could use it. I'm sure something could use it. And then Crush Guard because it got eroded to Oblivion. Um. Yeah. Not really sure if any of these are gonna do anything. Uh, I know Raiden's probably gonna use this guy, but I, I can't really see him doing anything important. Um. So, yeah, I don't know. They're all okay. I, I actually really like this list. There are a couple of, like, head scratchers, like, still keeping Stratos banned and stuff. And, like, upstart to one. I would, like, if you're gonna hit it, just ban it. Like, and just be done with it. Um, I don't, I don't know why this is banned. I'm, I don't think anybody knows why this is banned. Or, uh, sorry, limited. Why is this limited? Why is this on this list? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, um, but yeah, upstart, that's weird. But I'm definitely okay with reasoning. I'm definitely okay with uh, Draco face off, and all the stuff that got banned. Like whatever, get out. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, I think this is a pretty solid list. Um, if you want to read it for yourself because you don't trust my opinions, that's okay too. So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye.